Okay, guys. So today I'm gonna start solving challenges for besides TLV CTA 2018. Although it's a challenge that has been done last year, but I didn't see any walkthroughs through the internet for this challenge. So I decided that we can make a series of walkthrough for this uh, CTF. And as you can see here, once you uninstall the virtual machine from uh, Vernable Hub, you're gonna see here the collection of challenges that test your ability to do um, web challenges, reverse engineering, miscellaneous forensics, crypto. Uh, so we're gonna make a video for every challenge of these so we can or you can grab the most benefit out of every challenge of course we're going to solve only the relevant challenge that has to improve your ability to do pen testing in real world scenarios we're going to skip everything that has to do with guessing and we're going to stick to everything that has to do with improving your technical skills um, and your pen testing abilities so in this video here, we're gonna start with the web challenge, which is redirect me. But before getting started, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to do before uh, starting with a challenge. So the first thing is in order to, okay, let's clear that. Okay, so in order to do that challenge smoothly, you need to add the IP address of the virtual machine, which is over here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So you need to add the IP address to your ETS to your host file. So nano etc hosts. And over here, as you can see, I have added the IP address. Okay. And pointed the IP address to that to the domain of besides tlv.com. And the same IP address should point to challenges.bsidestlv.com. So you need to do that in order to solve the challenges and browse through the, uh, yeah, the challenges. So you need to do that before getting started. So let's close that. And for this challenge, you don't need to do Nmap. You don't need to scan the uh, machine since it's web based. So we're going to do most of our work from the browser. And if we need anything to do with Nmap, we're going to do that as an extra. So, yep, once you added the IP address and the domain to the host file, we're going to just type here the domain, okay? And once you're there, you're gonna make sign up, okay, for username and email. It's a very smooth process. You're gonna just select a team a name and email, etc., password, and then you're gonna go ahead and the challenges. And from here, you're gonna start. So let's get started. The first challenge is web, which is redirect me. Okay, so in this challenge, you're given a YouTube link and um, URL. So if you go to the YouTube link over here, it's going to say secure connection. Yes, because I have uh, the perp suite opening. No, no, let's go with that. Let's add this. Uh, okay, so let me turn that off to preferences, network. Let's load this again. Okay. So here you're gonna I'm gonna skip that. Okay, this is the YouTube video. Well, it's very funny, but it's, I mean it seems cool and yeah, as a first thing it seems that it has nothing to do with the town. So I don't think that I'm gonna find the tag in the video, which amounts to ten hours. So you can see that for fun, but it has nothing to do. So let's skip that. Very funny. Okay, so let's go to the next URL. Oh, okay. 
so here the page is not redirecting properly. So it seems that we are dealing with redirect loop. Okay. And if we look through the URL, it, we see that it redirects me to one.html, which is um, triggers my sense that it has to do a sequence of pages that starts from one. So if I click on two, it redirected me again to one, three. So there is here a redirect loop that's, that takes place once you visit this URL. It keeps redirecting you to one.html page. So uh, in order to understand what's happening, what's going on, we need to intercept every request to the CRL and to understand why we are being redirected to this page every time we request the URL, every time we request any page on the server. So let's go to preferences. Um, settings, manual configuration. So here you configure the uh, purpose suit. So, okay. And let's turn to intercept. Okay, so let's click. Okay, and open the page again. Let's intercept from the beginning. Okay, there is a request to the page. Okay, as you can see, it is requesting this URL and I'm gonna intercept the response for this. Request, do intercept the response. Forward, okay. So when we first opened the page, we didn't see that kind of response, okay? So here it's saying, redirecting, you should be redirected automatically to target URL, index.html. All right, so let's say, okay. And here it starts to redirect. To, it's, here it starts with index.html. So all of that is happening in the background without you realizing it. After that, let's click on intercept the response. And here we see that the first redirect um, goes to one.html. So click forward, and here we are presented with the one.html page that appeared immediately once we opened the page. And so it start, all starts from here. So let's forward, 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 forward. It's all the same, one.html. But this is, a, this is a CSF challenge, so it must have an element of guessing. So, of course, I'm not a fan of guessing, but this challenge, I mean, it's relevant. It has to do with your ability and skills to manipulate HTTP headers with the right interception tools. So here we have one.html, okay? If you keep going through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna receive the same response. Okay, once you hit 18 and in a set response, okay, forward, you see here there is a URL solves. Okay, we're gonna again in a set response for this. So again, we are back to one. Okay, so let's do that again for 18. Okay. Okay, let's open that again with the interceptor being on. Uh, okay, yep. So one, yes. So if you replace one with 18 and intercept the response to see what is the next page that's gonna be loaded. Oh, so, okay, one. Click on forward, let's click on 19. 519, oh, it's again. So I need to clear my cookies because I'm doing this for the second time. So let's um, sign out, log out, close everything, and open again. 
So B sides CLB. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my ID that I have registered in the site. Very straightforward password. Okay, so let's go to that again. Uh, yep, so insert is off. Try again. Yep, so it's 18.html. Okay, now intercept response for this. So we are directed to one, and from one, let's click or type again 18. One. It should redirect me to 19, but yep. So once you hit 19, okay, in the sequence from 1 to 19, you see the server now is, is redirecting you to 20 automatically. Click forward, now it step, it, it's stepped up to 21. 22, 3, 4, five, six. So keep going, since we have a change, we need to keep going. But to remember that the trigger is when you hit the 19 page, the browser or the server starts to redirect you up in one number, by, by one number. Okay, again, forward, 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 forward. You see the page is changing. I know it's daunting task to keep forwarding, but we need to do that. So it stopped at 37. Okay, so 35. We load again. We need to set the response. Okay, so we are back to one. So let's type 36 forward. Okay, 37, 8, 9. And the last page in the sequence will be 40. Yep. Forward. Intercept the response for this. Forward. Okay. So here's the flag. Okay. So it's not about catching the flag. Okay. All this challenge, it's all about manipulating the headers. Okay. The HTTP headers. So while you're doing pen testing for a page, okay and you see that there is a redirection loop, okay, you need to, in order to understand what causes the redirection, what's going on behind the redirection, what's going on in the background, you need to have an interceptor taking place, okay? So, Perp Suite is an interceptor. You can use it as an interceptor to the HTTP request to inspect HTTP headers, to manipulate the response, but um, this challenge is all about, as I said, understanding the HTTP headers, how to manipulate them using the, inner, the verb suite, and how to understand what's going on behind the scenes when there is a redirection loop. Okay, so this is the flag. Um, yeah, it's easy to challenge, actually. And let's grab the flag and give you a sense of satisfaction. So the flag is besides. Copy that, the set is off. We go back and submit. So say it's correct. Refresh the page. Okay, so this is the first challenge in this series. Team, yeah, no solves yet. Wait. So let's again put that, yep. Refresh. Yeah, since this is uh, being done offline, it's not scoring your uh, progress in the profile. So you don't need to do, no, don't need to bother around that. Okay, you just need to solve the challenges, and it's the first challenge. Actually, it's not so interesting, but it's very good to understand HTTP headers for beginners and how to manipulate them, how to understand the responses for every um, web page you encounter across the web. Um, thank you so much. 
And of course, we're going to see you in the next video where we're going to solve the rest of the challenges for the, the next challenge, which will be um, this one. Yep. Okay.